कैन वी सर्वाइव विदाउट फूड सर्टनली नॉट फूड एंड ऑक्सीजन आर टू इनग्रीडियंट्स विच आर एब्सोल्यूटली असेंशियल फॉर लाइफ वेन ह्यूमन बींग्स डिन नो हाउ टू ग्रो प्लांट्स दे वर द फूड गैदरर्स दे लेड अ नोमेडिक लाइफ दे मूव फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू अनादर जस्ट लाइक एनिमल्स टू लुक फॉर फूड बट एज द सिविलाइजेशन डेवलप्ड देयर एबिलिटी टू ग्रो प्लांट्स रिक्वायर्ड फॉर फूड एंड अदर थिंग्स ऑल्सो इम्प्रूवड एंड दस केम एग्रीकल्चर द वर्ड एग्री मीन्स फील्ड सो दर्ड एग्री मीन्स फील्ड and culture is cultivation which means that we grow plants on a large piece of land so when same type of plant is grown in a, on a piece of land it is called crop so once human beings knew how to grow plants in a field then came the agriculture so we can say one source of food is agriculture and other is of course animals because animals also provide food human beings were not only food gatherers they were also animal hunters they hunted animals for food for their leather and for other purposes they also used later on animals for some domestic purposes and that is how they started domesticating animals and from there came the animal husbandry animal husbandry is the science which deals with the domesticating of animals all the domesticated animals together are called livestock so with the development of animal husbandry and agriculture to some extent our food problem was solved now a country like india which has faced population explosion is always looking for more resources of food you know when india achieved its independence it had about 40 million people but today we are 1 billion and soon we will require about 1 and a quarter billion tons of food because not only we have to cater for the existing population we also have to estimate how much of increase will be required because population is increasing in fact population is increasing many fold more than the food yes i know we have had green revolution which has solved our problem to a large extent but green prop revolution like many other things has its flip side the soil has become infertile the agriculture has become an industry which is very expensive because all the modern inputs are expensive so what is happening although we are growing more food we often read in the newspapers that the farmers are committing suicide if so much of food is being produced and our warehouses are full of food grains as our leaders always claim then why the farmers are killing themselves why there is so much of poverty why people do not have access to food why everybody is always talking of inflation because growing food is one thing and having the money to buy it is another and having an access to food and to money is another game so we have to take care of all these aspects in olden times what used to happen the farmer was always exploited by the money lender so our government pitched in now easy loans are available but then of course we know there is red tapeism even in that so you see the agriculture which is our main pillar has many obstacles and we have to deal with all of them so what does that mean we have to manage our food resources we have to manage our agricultural practices what do we understand by management you see our land cannot increase beyond a point because we need forests also we need urban area also so agriculture area cannot keep on increasing we cannot keep on using fertilizers also so what do we do that means within the existing resources 
with all its constraints we have to have maximum output and this is what is management. Management is when you use your opt or you can say when you optimize your resources that is the management and every step every stage is so uh, crisply done that there is no wastage. So, in agriculture also today there is management. So, do not get bogged down by the word management because today the magic word is MBA or the management, but I am not talking it as the miracle word. I am going to talk about it in a practical sense how everything every simple single step can be efficiently done. So, to me management is efficient optimizing of resources.